Hello everyone, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good day. Hope you are all having an amazing day today. My name is Lex and welcome back to some more GTA 5 where today, as you can see, we are in the standard good old Los Santos map. This is the map that we always play in, in GTA 5 because this is the GTA 5 map. But of course this isn't the only map that has ever been made for a Grand Theft Auto game. There has been San Andreas, GTA 4, Vice City, uh, GTA 3 and of course the really old maps from the old GTA 1, 2 and London games. Well, if I look behind me, there is actually part of the Liberty City map for GTA 4. Now I just want you to point out how smooth this is as I look around. Because I want you to note the lag as I turn around to look at it. There we go. Look at the lag that starts out as soon as I look in the direction of this Liberty City map over here. Now, for those of you that are in the know about GTA 5 mods, would know that there is a huge full Liberty City map mod being made by the team that makes the Open IV mod, which is the mod that you use to, um, well, it's not a mod, it's like a program to manage all of the mods inside of the file system. Well, they are making a huge Liberty City map, but it is not ready yet. It's not out for the public. So some people are trying their best to get some sort of Liberty City map out there for us to play for the time being. And that is what we have over here. I'm not going to do any fancy stuff with a helicopter. I'm just going to go over technically using the air brake mod mode. And I'm just going to fly over here so we can have a look. So this is part of, I think this is the first island, definitely the first island. I think it's called Algonquin. I really haven't played GTA 5 for a while. But you can see that there's a lot of stuff missing even on this first island. You can see that this road around here is completely gone. But we do have a lot of stuff here. You can see we've got all of this beach going on here, which is right next to the water, which is pretty cool. We have all of this little expanse going down here, this little residential area. Got the beach, got the fun fair, and got the sort of uh, industrial area and part where you start. Now, this place isn't populated, of course. This is just the map. But this is really just sort of like a teaser or a first look at what we can expect with the Liberty City mod. I know that this isn't like the whole map and it's actually really close to Los Santos which makes it sort of unbelievable. But if you just really want to just quench your thirst for driving around in some part of Liberty City, this mod is going to be it for you for now until the big mod arrives. So let me just jump down. I'm going to try and find the spot where you start off. I think it's it's around here somewhere, isn't it? Oh, here we go. It's down here. This is where you start off. Let me just jump down. And it's going to third person mode. So right here is exactly where you start off at the very beginning of GTA 4. Now, I do have the GTA 4 car pack. So if I just go to vehicle options and vehicle spawner, if I just go down to the services section, we should find a car that is rather familiar to anyone who has played GTA 4. We have the Romans cab, the exact cab that we drive at the start in this exact point at the very beginning of GTA 4. So we can even have our first steps into GTA 4 in the GTA 4 map, just like we did in GTA 4. That's that's confusing. That's a lot of me saying GTA 4 a lot of times. So here we go. We can go up here and round the corner to Romans taxi cab building. And as you can see, there's plenty of stuff that has not been added in yet. Of course, this is only partially the first map from what I understand. I, in fact, is it is this the full map? Let me just have a look up. It's very close to the first map as far as I know. I know that we have these bridges going off to the next one and there's a little bit of a highway taken off but I think that's because they sort of connect to the next map as you can see here. Or maybe there is more. But I haven't played GTA 4 in so long that I really cannot remember how much of the map this is. But... We can go down here and we've got the lovely, beautiful GTA 5 weather and lighting engine. This already looks so much better than GTA 4. Look at this. Now, this does seem smooth right now, but I will apologize for the lag that may come and go. Uh, because this is, of course, not supposed to be here and GTA just doesn't really know how to handle map mods perfectly. Uh, I assume that's going to be fixed and partially what the OpenIV guys are sorting out uh, in their making of the full... GTA 4 map, which is all the islands and everything together. In fact, I do wonder if they're even going to be making it populated. Because normally, all these map mobs that we get, like this one, they are just the map files. There's no information about car spawning. 
no information about ped spawning, police spawning, all that sort of stuff. And I just cannot wait, because I think there will be a time in GTA 4... What is up with those? Oh, I see. The, the texture of these is a bit off. Never mind. But I do think there will be a time in GTA 5 history where we will be able to drive around at least the GTA 4 map with all the traffic and all the pedestrians spawning as if it was GTA 4, which is just absolutely fantastic. I mean, if, if we get enough time, maybe people will start, like, making missions for it using the mission editor mod but I don't know how far people are going to go but here we go he's driving around you can see that some of the textures are off especially when it comes to the trees textures are very weird on these things again this is actually labeled as a pre-alpha and I mean alpha is like the really basic of basic things but to be a pre-alpha this has to be the just the absolute bare minimum of effort that has gone in and as you can see there's even posts missing because these cables are just not connected to anything they're just hovering what have we got in here are we going to fall down i'm expecting to also fall down at some part of the map but so far it seems to be pretty solid she's doing quite well so far in fact i'm going to spawn in another gta 4 car so we don't have to drive around in this one all the time here we go the hakumai one of my favorite gta 4 cars see now that we got all these cars and stuff it really just makes the whole thing oh dear i think that last bit of wood didn't actually have collisions right there because I just managed to fall down. Yeah, now that we've got the GTA 4 cars mod and everything on this, this just makes the map absolutely perfect. Let's see if we can jump down here. Oh, nice. Still got all the collisions. I don't remember the road being this thin. That is a very thin road. I guess the textures and stuff aren't correct. They're probably taken from textures already in the game. I want to actually see, is there a way? In fact, around here is the station, isn't it? from what I remember. There's the car park. There's the bank somewhere around here. Oh, there it is. Hove Beach Station. I want to see if we've even got the collisions on this train track up here. Let's go up here and have a look. I don't think I can drive all the way. No. Oh, there's even the stained glass window there. That's pretty nice. Even all that is in. Here we go. Up the stairs. No, this isn't going to work. Let me just air brake up. There we go, there's one station, and then up here to the floating thing. So now we can drive along this. Nice! And, oh, listen to that. It even has the sounds for the different terrain. So there is some effort that's gone into this. This isn't just like porting the map files. This is, surely the game would have to be told that this is a different type of material because it sounds different when you ride on it. I just love this about games. I love games. <laughs> I'm really just... This is getting really vague. Of just my enjoyment now. I'm just going away from this mod. Just thinking I love games. Just the idea. Because this is going to sound really odd. And make me sound really old to you guys. But being a 26 year old. I have experienced quite a change. In video games in my lifetime. When I started playing games. I was playing them through DOS. Like you had to... Most of them didn't run through Windows. You had to actually like load it up into DOS first. Which by the way... When you used to start a computer, it didn't start in Windows. It used to start up in DOS, and then you had to type in Win or Windows to actually boot it up. Uh, quite a lot of games I remember, like Jazz Jackrabbit and SimCity, I used to have to load up in DOS first instead of going through Windows. That's, that's sort of like the level of how long I've been gaming. It's not as long as some people who've had Commodores and Amigas and everything else. But coming from sort of these, that really old gaming to then this where just like just that sound change on that i just really appreciate this makes me sound really lame i'm so sorry but i just really love how in fact like especially just going over this and hearing the grass sound it the game knows that this is grass and then you come over here and then it knows that it is tarmac i mean that might actually be tied into i don't know how this game is made this might actually be tied into just like the type of thing it is like it knows that this is road because of the texture and it knows the other things grass because of the texture I'm not entirely sure but I just love that that's the thing that is a I'm really going off on a tangent here can we get into this and ride this I think we might have to get a motorbike for this one here we go we're in the angel which I might be wrong but I think it might be a bike from GTA 4 how do we get in here oh look we've even got the miniature golf Around here. Oh, maybe someday someone might actually make a proper bowling game for this one because the bowling mod that I've seen for GTA 5 isn't that great. I think I even did a video on it a long time ago. Actually, I did a video on it on my last channel. That's how long ago it was. I'm pretty sure it was my last channel. Whoa. 
Okay. Oh, it'd be nice, actually. That's just reminding me of the uh, swing set from GTA 4. Imagine that when the full map is ported, if we even get the working swing set. That would be amazing to even have that, which is supposed to be a bug but became a feature. That's actually sort of glitched in the world. Now I can't even get on it. Okay, this is definitely not a GTA 4 bike, but let's just go over here. Where's the start? I can't remember where the start of this roller coaster is. Well, I guess, actually, I've just noticed there's no track on any of this. It only has the bit on the outside, so we definitely can't ride this because we just fall through the middle. Oh, that's a shame. Would have been nice if we could have ridden that, but I guess that's something that we're not ready for. But, of course, as I've pointed out, this is only a pre-alpha. This is the very beginning, the very first teaser, first look at Liberty City. But I think this is fantastic. They've done a great job. I'll put a link in the description below where you can go and get it. You don't need to have any sort of, like, spawner thing, map mod, or anything like that. You just add it like an add-on of an add-on car. It's as simple as that. You place the, you make a DLC file in the DLC packs folder, and then you just change the uh, DLC list.xml file, and that's pretty much it. I have done a video on how to install add-on cars, so I'm sure you guys can go and check that out. I might do a updated version of that video because things have become a little bit simpler since then. Oh, that one's definitely got no collision on it. So actually, that is a good point. I might at some point make a revised version that is uh, showing you the much easier way of installing DLC stuff. I'll add in like a map and a car video. But there we go, guys. That's it. Just a nice quick look. Very short video. Checking out the brand new pre-alpha Liberty City map mod. That's it. I'm going to go to the end of this bridge and fall off into the sea. This bridge is actually longer because I thought I was going to just end that there and I was going to fall off. But this bridge is actually quite long. And it's right there. So there we go, guys. Hope you've enjoyed the video. And I shall see you all next time. Goodbye. This is longer than I thought it was. Goodbye. And there we go. Goodbye.